In this video, we're going to identify some of the fundamental trigonometric identities. In our previous video, you've seen how to identify the coordinates of these points on the unit circle. Now, let us identify some of the fundamental trigonometric identities. So in reference to this right triangle here, from the unit circle, let's see that the radius is equal to 1 because this is a unit circle. And this would be the adjacent side and this is the opposite side. So for the sine theta, that would be opposite over hypotenuse, this is equal to y over r. Since this is the given angle theta, the opposite side is y and hypotenuse is r. Simplifying, we can have y over 1 because we know that r is equal to 1. Therefore, sine theta is equal to y. For cosine theta, we have adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we have x over r, adjacent and hypotenuse. So we would be having x over 1. Therefore, cosine theta is equal to x. For tangent theta, we have opposite over the adjacent. Opposite is y, adjacent is x. Therefore, in terms of sine and cosine, tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. For cosecant theta, we have hypotenuse over the opposite. So we have r over y. And that would give us 1 over y. We can also write this as 1 over sine theta because y is equal to sine theta. For secant theta, we have hypotenuse over the adjacent. So this is r over x. And we can have 1 over x and we can also write this as secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta because x is equal to cosine of theta. Cotangent theta is equal to adjacent over the opposite. So we have x over y. So in terms of sine theta and cosine theta, we have cosine theta divided by sine theta. Fundamental trigonometric identities can be divided into several groups. These are the reciprocal identities. So we have cosecant theta is equal to 1 over sine theta. Secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. Tangent theta is equal to 1 over cotangent theta. Also, we have sine theta is equal to 1 over cosecant theta. Cosine theta is equal to 1 over secant theta. And cotangent theta is equal to 1 over tangent theta. We also have quotient identities. So tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. And cotangent theta is equal to cosine theta over sine theta. Another group would be the Pythagorean identities. So first, we have the sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So by Pythagorean theorem, from this right triangle, we can have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. By substitution, we can have x as cosine theta and y as sine theta, and then r is equal to 1. Simplifying, we can have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Now, how did we get 1 plus cotangent squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta? So from this equation, we can multiply 1 over sine squared theta to both sides of the equation. So we can have sine squared theta over sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta over sine squared theta is equal to 1 over sine squared theta. Simplifying, this would be 1. 
cosine squared over sine squared theta is equal to cotangent squared theta by quotient identities. And 1 over sine squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta by reciprocal identities. Let's see again from this equation sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Let us multiply the equation by 1 over cosine squared theta. So we can have sine squared theta over cosine squared theta plus cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta is equal to 1 over cosine squared theta. So simplifying, sine squared theta over cosine squared theta is equal to tangent squared theta by quotient identities. Cosine squared theta over cosine squared theta is equal to 1. And 1 over cosine squared theta is equal to secant squared theta by reciprocal identities.